Hello everyone, que tal? Uh, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, thank you for checking out my channel. Don't forget to make sure, don't forget to like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Um, speaking of which, I also gained like one subscriber more, which is not like a big deal, but I'm so happy and grateful for it. So for that, I feel like I deserve to take a shot. A shot of some uh, mango Ciroc for the one subscriber gain. Oh, shit. This is a little bit, um, it's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Shit. Should I just do it with my teeth? Oh my gosh. Let me use this towel. See if it helps. Anyway, I wanted to say thank you to all the few subscribers that I have, which is better than nothing at all. I appreciate it. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube journey. Um, I don't think we're going to have a shot of Ciroc today because this shit is rough. My hands are not even slippery, so I don't even know why it's not opening. They made they extra sealed this cap. Like there's no you can see the dent from my tooth right now. Like that's that's how real it is. I don't want to break my tooth. Forget it. I have Grey Goose. We'll just take a shot of Grey Goose, whatever's left. This one's a lot easier. To my gain subscriber. I don't want to spill it everywhere. Come on. Oh, shit. I think I have a... That's pretty much it. Oh, there's a little bit left. Okay. To you, my new subscriber. Ah. Ah. Just one shot. There's only one subscriber. Only one new subscriber was gained, so when we have more, we'll take more shots. Mm. Okay, enough of that. So, today's video, um, I pretty much wanted to check out this Kiara Sky um, nail dip kit. It's pretty much doing like acrylics, but instead of you needing like the monomer and all the other stuff. You just have like this polish and you just dip your nails. So you could actually do like um like acrylic fake nails or you could just do your actual real nail. So today I'm gonna actually try it out and just do my real nail. Um, I bought this off of Amazon. It was low key kind of expensive. I'm not even gonna lie. It was like a hundred bucks to do this to buy this, and I figured like eh. It should be worth it if I'm not going to get my nails done. I'm actually going to sit here and try to do it. So, today we're going to see if it's worth it. Um, so, right out the package, you can kind of see, like, the colors that it comes with. It has, like, a red, a sparkly color. And, like, a nude, um, like, a very nude, light pinkish color. You have the clear, and then it's, like, a white. So let me just take it out the package so I did open this before I did the video so just reopen it and you do have your instructions it gives you your dip guide so basically if you can try to see it tells you pretty much um, how to do it even you can even it says you could even do um like pink and white tip 
You can do um, gel polish and the dip powder, just a regular color. So that was cool. That's good to know. All right. So the red is called Hot Damn. And it's pretty red, I would say. Next, I have the Superficial. This one is the sparkly gold-ish color, which I'm probably going to do this one because I like the way that one looks. And then next is, this is called Prim and Proper. Yeah, Prim and Proper. This one would probably be the best if you're going to do a white tip to put like, you know sometimes how you can get the white tip and it's like lightly pink and you have the white, whatever. Okay, that's that. Next, this is just the nat, oh it's called natural. So natural is my assumption is like going to be the one where you, um, like you lock the color in a place. Like to seal it off is what I'm thinking. So I did say I opened this before. The reason why it has plastic wrap is because I took the cap off of the red one and I put it on this one and vice versa. So like the red, I didn't want the red powder to get mixed in with this one since I had already opened it. But oh no, this is the clear. So clear is going to be the one that you put on top of this color whenever you do it okay so just it looks white it doesn't look anything fancy and a little disclaimer um i'm not a professional nail tech um i don't have a license i'm not certified none of that stuff i pretty much just bought it and i'm gonna use it and that's pretty much it i want to show you guys my first impression of me using it if i think you should buy it if it's as easy as they say it is you know, as they claim it is. So that's it. Don't come for me, more or less. All right. I'm just taking all of these um out, which I probably shouldn't. Have. So it comes with the brush saver. So to save the brush, I guess. You have a nourishing oil, so that way you can put it like around your cuticle and after when you're done, so that way it's not as dry. Just pretty good. And then your top coat. Hold on top. Oh, and then these ones are numbered, which I think is pretty smart. So this is the bond. It has a number one on it. Kira Sky Bond. And then your number two is going to be... Um, the base number two your seal protect it's number three okay cool so prior to this I pretty much got my nails prepped as much as I could they're looking ratchet just natural nothing new um I filed them I pushed the cuticle back I don't have any oil lotion nothing like that on my now, I do know when you are doing this, um, you don't want to have that. So that way, your whatever acrylic you're putting on, it can actually stick instead of like it lifting up. That's what I understood. And then it also comes with brush, more brushes, which I think is pretty cool. Let me just take it out. Because you never know. It's cool little brushes. And then you just pretty much take the old one off and you just insert this one in the cap. So you have one, two, three, you have four extra brushes. Which that's cool because it's going to last you a while. Alright. So other stuff I'm going to use that I have is just my basic little paper towels. I don't want it to come out like all big and clumpy. So for me, I think the way, the best way I could smooth it down is like with the, uh, the nail drill. 
So this is an old nail drill that I had bought because I was like really serious about trying to do my nails at home, but I never really did it. It just, um, it says it's like Mercedes 2000 manicure pedicure set nail drill. Just a little cheapy one you can buy online. Okay. That's it. Nothing fancy. All right, that's what I'm going to use. And then your regular um, nail buff. I'm just gonna buff them out real quick before I get started. And then after I'll read the instructions. Even though most people read them first, I'm gonna do that. Oh shit. Okay, so one more thing that I forgot to say. You're gonna need a brush. I just realized that. Some type of like furry nail brush so that way you could dust off the excess um, powder. So let me go look for that. Or let me keep it to my, my Kufalas bag of nail stuff. Okay, it's not in here, so let me be right back. Right back. I'm back. And I forgot to add. This is why you shouldn't open things before. But I forgot to say, um, it did come with this is, see if you could see it. So it's basically supposed to be um, like a dip station. It's basically like for you, for your waist. So that way, let me just show you, cause this is easier just to show you than to say all that. This came included with the extra stuff, with the kit. I just had it put away, so. This would probably even be better though. So, so this is the little scooper. So I'm assuming you put that one in. Oh, there you go, right? I think so. So, oh, okay, cool, cool. So, you would just, um, basically what it's saying is to scoop your powder that you want to use. You're going to scoop it, put it on here. Then you'll put this back on the bottom one. Whatever you scoop with the first one, it should have it. It will fall back down. And then you'll just re-scoop. So, it's basically, I'm thinking it's like you just, it's like a recycle like a little recycle thing all right so let me just see what color I'm going to do I don't know maybe I should do this one the gold I'll just do the gold superficial all right let's Read the instructions first. Okay, this is gonna be easy. It's gonna be a piece of cake. Okay. Oh, and I'm still a little bit sick, so yeah. Let me just move my camera. I'm just gonna use this regular makeup brush I don't use anymore, just to dust off whatever extra. Okay, let's get this started. So. It said to apply, <clears throat> excuse me, the bond. Just make sure we collect my notes. Apply base. Where's the base? Okay, here it is. All right, base. This is gonna be good. Ooh, it's a good, look at all that shininess. It's a good color. It's pretty. All right. So we're going to get this out. Okay, this is the base. You're going to apply three-fourths of the nail. Okay. Try to do this as best as I can. Need some more because that was dry. Mm. 
basically like more than half of them now. We're almost done. I'm gonna try to get every little corner because I don't want no missing patches. Okay, when you dip it, you're supposed to dip it at a 45 degree angle. So from what I've seen, it's kind of like something like that. Double dip. Okay, I'm gonna wait a second and then I'm gonna dust it off. So that way, I'm just gonna dust it off. Oh, okay. So exactly where you put the base, you're gonna see the line. So obviously, I'm a little bit crooked, but it's okay. I'm trying to have it focused. See, that's good. Okay, we're making progress. All right. So same thing to now. We're going to do the hole now. Here we go. Just want to make sure I get everything nicely saturated. Dip it all the way in, all the way. Shake it off, or you can dust it. I'm not gonna use. You could for this part. This would be so essential to use, but for me, that seems like doing too much, and I'm not about to be stupid recycling. No, there's no need for that. Okay, so we're almost done with the first now. I'm going to set that aside, then um, one more time, you apply the base, which is the same one we've already been using. You're going to get it all the way on there, on the whole nail. And then, probably should have had this ready. Here's the clear. So, same thing. I'm just going to dip it in the clear. Basically, just to, like, seal it. Okay. I'm not going to use the same thing because I don't want... Never mind, the sparkles just got in there. I don't want... The sparkliness to go back in there so just leave that like that okay what do now is I'm gonna get the seal protect so seal protect basically exactly what it sounds like to seal it off This shit, no. Get you this. Cause that shit. Okay, no filer. As you can see. 
some of the nourishing oil around the cuticle. Alright, so in the end, I think that this whole Kiara Sky kit, I think it's worth it. I honestly didn't even need to use this drill. I was being extra when I was trying to use this. There's no need to use the drill. All you really need is, all I really needed was the um, nail buff. You can do a medium or a soft grid. I think this was like a light soft grid because it's not very rough. I did this one. And then just a regular little nail file. Other than that, you're pretty much good to go. Everything that you need already is in the kit. I would recommend you getting even like a little cheapy nail filer. This is probably like $4, $2 at Sally's, whatever. But other than that, yeah. Looks really good, I think. For the first time, not bad. Not bad. Looks a lot better. So, other than that, thank you for watching. Bye.